So hey guys, welcome to another video of the HTML. In this video, I will also show you five, six, or maybe seven tags of HTML. So without any further ado, let's get started. As you can see, I have created the HTML here, and inside that, this is the boilerplate code. So if you want to create the boilerplate code, just type the exclamation mark on your keyboard, and then it will give you the suggestion. So this is the Emmet suggestion. Emmet abbreviation and if you want to insert that code you can also type it manually but it is easier to insert it with the Emmet so why don't we use it so just click on this and it will automatically insert the code and then just pass the tab tab and tab here you have to just type the title of the page that will appear on the top of your page so let's just go and see if it is showing on the top of the page as you can see this is my page name that I have just typed it so this is where the title appears so you have to just type the title here and then so now let's start the video so the first tag that I want to show you is the ABBR tag now the ABBR tag defines the abbreviation or acronym so let's just type it ABBR and inside the title you have to just type the full form of the abbreviation so for example the HTML so the HTML stands for hyper text markup language so this is the abbreviation for the HTML you have to just type it so let's just type this here because this is where you type the short form so this is the thing what's called the attribute now the attribute provides the extra information about the element so let's just type the short form of html here and let's see how this uh, tag works as you can see it has created the underline underneath my html and if i hover over my html as you can see a tooltip pops up and it says hypertext markup language this is the text that we have typed here so this is the use of the abbreviation you can just use this inside of your paragraph tag or any other tag you want like I want to type it lorem and I want to put this here I have copied it and I'm gonna paste it here so let's see how it looks like as you can see it is not creating the line break because it is the inline element if it was a block level element it, it just created a new line for itself and then the final line which is here will be appeared under that line so let me just give you the example of this so let me just show you how you can check if the element is the block level element or the inline element just right click on that element that you want to inspect and just click on this inspect and a window will pop up like this it could be on the right side or left side you can change it by clicking on this so if you click on this so it will dock to the right side and if you just click on this it will dock to the bottom and you can also dock it to the uh, left side and then you have to just click on this elements so this is the element tag you have to just click on this and then this is my paragraph tag as you can see inside the body this is my page that I have opened and here is my paragraph here in the style section you can see this is the paragraph so this is what's called the CSS now you don't have to worry about anything because in this section I'm not covering the CSS I will cover it in the next section but the thing that I want to show you is the this so it is the display as block so because I'm clicking on this paragraph so the display property of the paragraph is the block that means it is a block level element the paragraph is by default a block level element but you can change it through the CSS that I will show you in the CSS section and inside that paragraph as you can see I have this abbreviation tag and if you click on that as you can see it is not showing anything so let me just go inside the computer tab and search for the display and if I search for the display as you can see in the layout section it is saying that it is the inline element 
so the inline elements are used as a section of a block so if you want to style a section of a block separately then you can use the inline tag inside it let me show you by changing it to the uh, block level element so I have selected it and for styling it I am going to style it I want to make the display property of that as block as soon as I make it a block level element as you can see it has created a line break and it has created a new line for itself and it is taking the whole line inside its parent and it is creating the line break before and after that as you can see now my next line is on the third line instead of having the in the same line so this is the difference between the inline and the block level element so these styles are just for the experiment purpose these will not override the styles of that are here and if you refresh the page the styles that you have specified here will be gone so I'm gonna refresh it and it will become the inline element again I will show you how to change the display properties in the CSS sections so just don't worry about that and now let's just close this inspect window from here so for closing it you have to just click on this and it will be closed and now let's move on to our next things just cut this from here now the next tag that I want to show you is the address tag now the address tag is the semantic tag that means you can use the other tags that are block level tags uh, instead of this one but this is useful for the screen readers so it is recommended to use the tags that are more specific like you can just type the div here so div is a block level element if you type some text inside the div or if you type the same text inside the address tag it will be the same and let me just go inside the html as you can see now this text that you have typed is almost the same except the style so this is the italic style and this is the normal style but don't worry about that but the text that you put here looks the same instead of the font style so just go ahead and now let me just cut this from here so these both are the block level elements you can use either of these you can also style this div according to this address so let me just do that for now you just don't have to worry about the style that I'm typing so I, if I type the font style and if I make it italic it will look the same as this address tag here as you can see now these both are looking the same so because I have applied the font style property which is the default property for this address tag for now you don't have to worry about this as well as I have already told you but uh, the reason for telling this is that these both elements are the block level elements you can use both of these elements when you want to create your address but you want to be more specific because if someone is using screen readers to read your page then he will know that this is the address section of your page so you want to be more specific let's just delete that and now let's just type some address some random address let me just type it and for typing the address let's just type the like written by and after that I want to create a link for creating a link we use the anchor tag I will be creating the detailed video for this anchor tag so just don't worry and inside that I'm gonna put the hashtag and here you have to put whatever you want to show to the user so I want to make it ABC so the book is written by a person named ABC you can type anything you want and after that I want to create a line break so for creating a line break as you know we use the br tag and, and now I want to put the website of the user so it is like example dot com and after that I want to create a line break and after that let's type the address of the user like nyc and just type some random things and after that I'm gonna also create a line break so let's just see how it looks like now as you can see this is how our address is created so as I have told you 
just don't worry about the design because the HTML is only for providing the structure to our web page and we use the CSS to design our page so this is how it looks like without using the CSS so this is how we use the address tag now let's move on to the other tag now the other tag is the B tag now the B tag specifies the bold text without any extra importance so let me just create a paragraph tag so and inside that let me just type a text and I want suppose I want to make this text as the bold text so I am going to cut this using the control x and I want to put the B tag so this is the tag that I want to put and I am going to click on this and inside that I am going to paste that text that I have just cut using the control x and if I just go inside the page as you can see now this is my paragraph and inside this paragraph I have the inline tag which is the B tag so this is the B tag and as you can see the text here is the bold text the bold means a little bit thicker as you can see it is a little bit thicker than this tag so that's the reason we use this B tag so the B tag is used to create a bold text without any extra importance so if you want to make some text that is important then you can use the strong tag let me type it manually so for typing the strong tag just type the str and as you can see this is the short form for the strong tag and it is giving you the suggestion and if you press the enter or just click on this or press the tab button on your keyboard then it will insert the strong tag for you and inside that strong tag I want to put some text like let me just put the text that I have copied using the control x so it will look the same as the b tag but now it has some extra importance in the semantic meaning so this is the bold tag so this is also an inline tag as I have already told you what is the inline and block level element you can just put this tag inside your block level element and now let's move on to the next tag which is the block code now the block code tag as the name suggests is the create a block level code so if you want to create a short code then you can use the Q tag which I will show you in a minute so let's just type some text here inside this block code and you will see that the it will be treated as a code of a person or you have quoted it from somewhere else as you can see it has created a code and you can also give the link to the code using the site attribute so this is the site attribute and then here you can just specify the link where you quoted this code so this could be anything and suppose I you don't want to give the like www.google.com so that's the site as you can see so this is how it, it is written and it is a block level element that means if you create something after that it will be created in the next line suppose I want to create a paragraph as you know the paragraph is also a block level element so it will just create the line break for itself as you can see it is on the separate line instead of starting from here and if you create the inline tag after that like I created the bold tag so it will be after this text so lorem as you can see it is also uh, in the next line because this is a block code element that creates the space that creates the line break before and after the itself now suppose you want to create a short code instead of making the whole block a code then you can use the Q tag so for using the Q tag you can use it anywhere you want inside a block level element or outside a block level element you can use your inline elements inside or outside of your block level element so I'm gonna use it inside my H4 so H4 is the heading as I've already told you in my first video and I want to put some text inside it and inside that I want to create a strong tag like strong or I'm going to explain you the Q tag so I'm gonna put the Q tag here so this is the Q tag that is made for the short codes instead of the big codes and if you see here as you can see this is how the short code looks like it has created the quotation marks before and after that text 
that I have created here. So this is the text that I have uh, put inside this Q tag. As you can see, this is the opening tag for this Q tag and this is the closing tag for this. So this is how we use the Q tag. Now the next tag that I want to show you is the code tag. Code is also a inline element. So this is used to type when you have some tutorials website or you had like so let me just cut this text and type the code tag and inside that let me just paste it now this will be considered as the code even though it's not the code but suppose you have the code here or anything else you can just put that inside the code tag even though you can use the other inline elements but as i've already told you we want to be more specific to the screen readers so that the screen readers can understand uh, what this section means so we want to be more specific so if you have some code and you want to type it to your website just use the code tag and let's just cut this from here so that is it for this video guys and now i will see you guys in the next video